I woke up this morning and was like, all right, I'm definitely going to be grinding Clash Royale today because it just, I don't know, I just felt like I was going to do well. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever get that feeling, but you just wake up and you're actually playing good and you're like, okay, wait, this might actually be a day I can finally push some trophies. Um, but then it usually never happened. Like, you end up losing anyways. But so far, I've been winning, so I just decided I'd record um, for a while and see however long I want to play. Um, just gonna go for the knight, get the king tower activation. Not sure why this guy is playing a minor, not the safe spot on the first 30 seconds of the game when he clearly knows I have tornado, but I'll take the king tower activation. Um, I think he maybe didn't <laughs> expect me to be able to defend the bat since I didn't have ice within cycle. But I am better than that at this game. That's not going to get a connection either. By the way, the wall breaker will die if the king tower is active and they place it in that tile. So I'm just going to go ice within the back. We're already off to a pretty good start. Looks like he is playing Mega Knight as well. Um, kind of have a bad hand here, not going to lie. I'm just going to let this bandit kind of do its thing. And then I'm going to go Tesla at the bridge. My cycle is really bad. Um, I, I was kind of debating on going Expo there, but I think that would just be too aggressive for like this early in the game i don't really need damage right now i can just kind of play it slow that should actually pull the wall breakers nice i love tesla like that is the best interaction that tesla ever has it pulls the wall breakers from like so far away i can actually just do something a little bit weird here he's gonna magnite but i can go skellies on top of the bandit then he's gonna have to defend that right side with something evil bats are gonna die then i can go ice was on zero to make sure this mega knight dies quicker he has to spend a spell on top of that those evil skellies or he loses the game since he's playing can since he is playing cannoneer and then i win the game so that was pretty good i'm gonna go log that should kill the wall breakers nice perfect and then i can go knight as well if i need to um looks like he's probably just gonna let this expo okay as soon as i pull my knight away he goes for the bandits but either way that only would have got like 200 more damage so really really good start to the game i'm kind of just playing like outplaying him honestly with like mentally um like with what he's gonna do i guess predictions is the right way to uh, describe what i'm trying to say i'm gonna nato that in right away get that tower damage also kill the little prince it's as if you guys been watching me for the last um like two months you know it's probably my favorite play ever to just nato in the little prince right away because they, they hardly ever expect it unless you've been doing it like multiple times throughout the game um it's just a it's just a hard play for them to defend i'm not sure what in the world he's doing to be honest those wall breakers are just going to die to the tesla um, then I can just go ahead and nato everything back, go for the knight here to protect, go for the log as well, because there's no chance he has enough for a mega knight right now. That's going to get on tower, we're into one rocket range already, though Skelly should die, nice, he does go ahead and waste his zap as well. Just everything going wrong for him, he can't fix his cycle, like, I feel kind of bad for this guy, I can spam all my cards at the bridge and he can't defend, like, only 14 seconds left. He gave it a pretty valiant effort, but the expo still connects at the end of the, at the, end of the day. I swear, sometimes the expo locks on the tower quicker than, like, other times. Um, like, whenever, whenever I'm facing minor poison or something, expo never locks on the tower, even though there's, like, nothing on the map for, like, ha I swear, there's nothing on the map for half a second and it still doesn't lock. But, like, right there, it just locked right away, I don't know. Anyways, like I said, currently like top 120-ish, I don't know. Um, okay, gonna go Tesla. Oh, this is actually my favorite play ever if he doesn't play anything here. Yes, this is my favorite play to start the, like, it's perfect. Because look at this, he already spent four elixir. I defended his elixir with four of my own, um, and now he's dead. Because he has to fireball, he has no elixir, he's gonna log on zero, and look at that. He's not dead, but like, that is a great start to the game. Um, it makes me feel really good. So basically, the reason I go for the expo right there, right at the bridge, um, when they go like mortar first play and you Tesla it, because four for four trade, your Tesla is still about half HP. Um, so they're already playing into you when you are still up elixir technically because the Tesla is still alive. Um, and no matter what they do, they're going to be playing directly into an already alive Tesla. So it's just really a win-win. Not sure about that skelly bro from him since I already probably was going to play ice was anyways. Um, so kind of just a waste, but that's fine with me. He doesn't have Little Prince in rotation yet. Still don't really know his whole deck. We do know his spell is Fireball, so we can kind of um, take advantage of that throughout this game. He is going to go for the Knight on that side, so I could go Expo other lane, but he does have the Little, the little Prince. Um, so I'm just going to play passively, go for the Split Skellies in the back here. Um, go ahead and log and then Tesla right away on top of his Mortar once again. He's just not catching it in time, I guess. That is a lot of Elixir. He just spent on like five Elixir on that Tesla after he already after he already got defended by the, uh, like his Mortar already got defended by it. Is a lot of Elixir to spend. Man, there's so many Goblins on the board, he just keeps playing him somehow. Um, okay, we're fine here. Knight's gonna take out one of those, because Knight is garbage, apparently. Um, and yeah, we're fine. I've, the amount of games I've been winning with Evo Skellies is actually kind of gross, too. Um, I can't even lie. Alright, wow, my cycle. Um, okay. Right, so... Alright, I'm gonna log this. Am I dead? I think I'm dead, because if I NATO this, he's gonna go Goblin Gang. And then I don't have any Elixir, so please just don't do that quite yet. Just give me a second to catch up on Elixir. 
Yes, Double Elixir could not have came at a better time right here. That's so, like, that genuinely saves me. But just like that, he's actually in the lead after that good start we had. So it feels kind of bad, but, you know, at least we did get that good start, so I can't really complain. Uh, I'm going to go Defensive Expo. He does have his Evo Knight. This is going to be tough, so I'm going to go for the Log plus Evo Skellies right away. Hopefully he doesn't expect the Evo Skellies, and we can kill that little Prince. That's ideal. Um, and then I can just go Knight on top of the Skelly Barrel that's popping over here on the right side. Dude, the Evo Skellies get so close to Tower every time. It always makes me, like, really, like, I don't know. Uh, I'm always staring directly at them, hoping they're going to connect, but then they never do, so it makes me sad. I'm going to go Ice Whiz here just to tank for the Mortar Blasts. And then, okay, we're going to Tesla this right away, actually. Uh, I'm going to Log as well to take this out, the Skelly Barrel, so my Tesla stays alive. And he does just defend with the Little Prince, so that's fine. Um, we can kind of just reset. If you get his little prince out of cycle, that's definitely a win for me. Gonna NATO. All right, buddy, you need to relax. Um, he's gonna go mortar on the opposite lane. Not too sure about that play. I'm just gonna get an ice boost down. And then, wow, he's spending a lot of elixir for, like, really no reason over here. Um, oh, my Andy logs. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just go expo over here. And Tesla on zero for his knight. Nice, we do catch that. He's gonna go little prince. There it is. We can go skellies to protect. How, wait, how on... Did I miss something? How did he just defend that? Like, he literally had no... I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at this game, but I swear he was very low on Elixir when he was playing that night, and then he somehow gets a Little Prince and Spear Goblins down, and, like, literally right away, after he just played a lot of Elixir to defend his Mortar, but, I mean, maybe I'm dumb. I'm gonna go Tesla right here. He's gonna Fireball nothing, basically. Um, I guess one Ice Whiz. He does miss the Tesla as well. I need to protect this... Um, expo gotta go log on zero for these spear goblins they need those to die so my expo can connect to the mortar nice that's actually so clutch if that did not connect to the mortar right there i think i would have just lost the game i'm not even kidding um he is gonna fireball so that's fine this is tough still this is very tough i'm actually like not getting any damage since the very beginning of the game this kind of sucks um, i'm just gonna go tesla immediately on top of the mortar should take that out really bad skeleton barrel as well this is gonna give me the opportunity to finally go for a rocket on tower um after this long awaited defense for like the last two and a half minutes but i'm just gonna go knight in the back here he's gonna take the fireball on the expo that's completely fine um 40 seconds left okay i'm gonna go expo and then evo skelly's on the right side and then log on the skelly barrel okay he's gonna fireball that's fine I'm gonna go for the rocket and then i'm actually nah i mean there's no point nadoing 20 seconds left okay this is actually tough prediction on the mortar nice oh my goodness that's so big um, okay, Ice Whiz to defend, Log to make sure this Mortar dies, that was so clutch, oh my goodness, if that did not hit, like, I think I lost the game, um, I do win the game here, there's no way he can give, he needs two Fireballs to win, there's no way, only 10 seconds left, if he gets two Fireballs, I'm actually just gonna give up, because, like, there's no way, uh, but I'm just gonna cycle Log, he does not have nearly enough Elixir, what a clutch prediction Tesla on top of that Mortar, that honestly would've won, like, I would've lost the game if I had to defend that evil Mortar, because I wouldn't have had the time to go for the double rockets, but that was such a clutch prediction. It really, like, moments like that is when it really matters that you know what you're doing and know what your opponent has in cycle, but yeah, that was just insane. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what it is, but I just feel locked in right now, um, and it definitely is a good feeling, so I'm just gonna cycle the knight in the back. I'll probably make this into two parts, this video, because I'm, I'm planning on just pushing for, like, a couple hours, and then probably posting the best game, so I'm actually gonna do something a little bit aggressive, but I think he's playing, um, minor... Oh, Okay, I was going to say minor wall breakers, but he's playing Hog apparently, which is even better for me. Um, but Hog plus Evo Bomber, <laughs> they're doing anything they can to just try and make Hog not my matchup at this point. I mean, definitely still is my matchup, but I'm going to have to just be very careful. Uh, because Little Prince, Evo Knight, and Evo Bomber are going to be very, very tough to defend. But I am going to, I feel like, I feel like I've got this one. Like, even, no matter what he does, I should be fine here. Um, he might go Evo Bomber on top of this. If he really wants the one, one stupid Bomber hit on the Ice Whiz, then you know what, take it, bro. Uh, I'm going to go for the Tesla up high, just to cycle. Since he did just waste his Earthquake on my tower. And, I don't know, I think I'm chilling. He does want the one Bomber hit, bro. Like, look how far back that is. That's almost halfway to his bridge. Um, pff, I mean, man, you know what? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to have any negative comments in this video because I am, in a, I'm not going to just let that affect me. Um, and that's the mindset you really need to have. If you want to uh, be good at, be good at this game, you cannot allow one card or one game to affect you. Um, if you want to be able to just push up and not lose your mind, because there's definitely been a couple in seasons that I've literally just raged for like eight hours straight. And it's been like the worst day ever. It genuinely is just miserable if you're not having any fun playing the game, but that's why I'm just going to try to uh, not worry about the bomber and hope that they do nerf it. Uh, because clearly it does need a range nerf. I mean, it's not rocket science here. I'm going to go Expo plus Evo Knight. I think I just won the game. Yeah, he just lost. Um, kind of unlucky timing from him, but at the same time, he shouldn't have gone so aggressive with the hog. He kind of just spread himself way too thin. So I have the log ready. 
Um, he has to defend that Expo still with only like two Elixir. He's going to go um, Evo Bomber in about three seconds. Yep. So I'm just going to log plus NATO. That, that, that does get one hit on my tower, but Expo is going to get his tower down to rocket range. And that's going to be pretty much good game. So really, I mean, just bad timing. Yeah, he is going to give up for him. At the same time, he did kind of put himself in a situation to... Um, I guess he didn't really know that I had Evo Skellies in cycle, but still, even if I had, even if I only had regular Skellies there, uh, I still could have gotten like a plus freaking five trade and then still took in at least over half his tower, but I'm going to just rock at the King Tower to finish it off. It's definitely nice. <laughs> like it's a good feeling when you do make someone give up, um, especially with Expo. The one thing that's really annoying is that I have to sit here for like 30 seconds and just wait for the Expo to chip, chip down his tower. Um, cause it takes actually four to five business days just to take a three crown from, from an Expo, but yeah. Pretty good game. Hog Cycle definitely still my matchup, even with the Evo Bomber. All right, Prince Thomas. I played this guy before playing Cannoneer. So always, if you if you're facing Cannoneer, I just always cycle my skeletons at the bridge first play. I mean, really, just either forces out something from them immediately when they don't want to play something in front of their like in front of their tower this early on, or they just take the one skeleton hit, which is free damage for you. So he has guards plus bomber. Um, actually not really sure what that could be. I'm just gonna go Ice Fist for the guards here. Should take those out. He does have the Knight, so I'm guessing, like, Mortar or something? I don't really know. I'm gonna go Tesla here just to snipe this Knight. And we're actually off to a pretty... Oh, wow. Okay, so he has E-Giant. Definitely have not seen much E-Giant recently. Um, don't know why. Maybe it's just not great in this current meta. Um, but yeah, really aggressive push from him. He just spent his Knight, E-Giant, and Phoenix, which is a ton of Elixir, and we can just go ahead and defend this Phoenix, which is with just one Elixir Larry's by kiting it other lane, and I think the Skeleton's gonna get a hit on Tower as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe it won't. No, it doesn't, just because I played him, like, a little bit to the outside, uh, but still, it's kind of funny, so it just defends that whole Phoenix really easily. I love facing Phoenix. It's, like, the easiest card in the entire game to defend. Um, oh my goodness, okay. Um, oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh my, okay, you lost. Um, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you, dude. You lost the game. So I'm gonna go Expo on zero. You have about three Elixir. If he does go for the Evil Knight, he loses because, or not the Evil Knight, the regular Knight, he loses because he has to defend the Skeletons on the right side. Um, and this exactly, like right here, is why I don't play the Cannoneer. So he has, he probably could have defended this okay um, if he didn't have Cannoneer. But since he does, the Evo Skellies can literally take his whole tower, so he has to play arrows on them. So minus two when he's already hurting for Elixir is just pretty much a game changer. Like, there's nothing he can do at this point. Expo's going to chip down his entire tower. Really good feeling. And he's going to give up. So we're going to get back-to-back -back raid squits. Um, and yeah, that's just right there. I mean, everyone always asks me, you, want, you should play Cannoneer for a video. The only time I ever play Cannoneer is if it's competitive. Like, I just don't have it leveled up, number one. Okay, okay, these are the worst kind of people, dude. I hate people that literally give up and then they try and take your tower and act like they're cool and stuff. Like, bro, you're just wasting your own time at this point. You literally already conceded the game. What is the point of playing another card? Like, why are you trying to take my tower? You're actually just cringy, and now I'm going to spam WoW at you because you deserve it. And you, what are you questioning, bro? You don't waste our time, and then I wouldn't do this to you. Um, let's just expo again. Hopefully, he has a brain cell and doesn't just defend this. Okay, he is going to let this happen, so I'm just going to rock it to finish off the game. He's getting the WoW spam, though. Least favorite kind of people is this guy right here. Like, why on earth are you activating my king tower on purpose and then still playing the game like bruh okay once again we're going to be facing cannoneer here so i obviously like playing it um with expo is one of the only decks where they don't have an advantage of actually having the cannoneer like it kills my troops quicker sure but like honestly i think it's easier to play against a cannoneer than an actual tower there's a lot more outplays you can do um so he's playing recruits in the back first play love to see that um i guess second play we'll give him the credit he played his evo bomber into his evo recruits so he's got some brain cells you know there's a light bulb up there. <laughs> That's a wild statement. Uh, I'm just going to go Skellies over here for these recruits. And, oh, I thought that was a Lava Hound, but it's an Inferno Dragon. Who in the world uses that card? Um, honestly, it's pretty dead. Like, I don't think it's used in, like, any decks. But I'm just going to cycle Ice Wizard in the back. He's got the Mother Witch at... I don't even know. This guy's just got... Um, you know, as many skillful cards. Oh, dude, I know who this guy is. He's playing, uh, no, he's playing Electro Giant. I'm not even kidding. He's playing Electro Giant Recruits Evo Bomber, bruh. I'm not even trolling. Like, this is, <laughs> I remember I played this guy in a video and I was like, what just happened to me? So I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go, okay, he plays Evo Bomber. So I am going to go Wild Plus Nato, then Evo Skelly's on zero. This should kill it because Evo Skelly's don't die to the E-Giant. Most broken interaction in the entire game of Clash Royale. Look at that locked on. Um, he does go for the NATO. I'm actually going to go Knight on zero. I know this is pretty aggressive. 
Um, I don't know if it's actually going to pay off. It is going to get like one or two, hopefully two shots. We're going to hope for two. Um, yeah, definitely two shots on tower. Maybe, no, not three, but we'll take that. Look at that massive start against, this is definitely an impossible, like there's no chance I'm ever breaking through um, in double mixer. I'm telling you guys, he's got literally the like perfect defense for an expo. Um, so I'm really glad we got that walk on. I guess you just kind of have to force it sometimes and hope that it works. Because um, now this is going to be a game about can I defend him till the end of the game basically. Um, so I'm just going to cycle log, try and stay up on damage as, as much as possible here. Uh, cycle's kind of bad, so I'll just get a Tesla down and then cycle Skelly's at the bridge. Always keeping that one elixir pressure on him. Um, so I'm just going to cycle, I think, defensive expos to play in this matchup because no matter what he does, I need to have an expo down to start working on it right away or it's going to be really difficult to defend, like, because his, his, everything has a lot of HP. The recruits have a lot of HP. Um, I really have to be careful about the Evo Bomber is my main concern. Um, even though he's not going to have it that often, since it's not a cycle deck, I still do need to worry about it. So I'm going to NATO this Mother Witch in right away here. Go for another Knight to kill it. And then that should be a decent... No, uh, this is exact, exactly what I was worried about. I have to go Ice Wiz on zero to kill that Bomber. It's going to just take my entire tower. Um, Inferno Dragon's doing okay over there, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. Um, Evo Bomber was spammed on zero like we thought. But I'm just going to keep cycling Teslas in the middle. My defense, you know, I believe in myself to defend. Um, he's going to go recruits in the back. This is just going to be a free Evo Skellies. He's also going to have to play a spell on them, or, or they're just going to continuously spawn onto, on top of his recruits. Um, and that's going to be... <laughs> I mean, oh, this guy. I can just imagine this guy's face, like... Imagine this guy's face concentrating, sitting here like, oh, should I drop my recruits in the back or my E-Giant or my bomber at the bridge? Like, bro, this can't be a real human. I'm actually going to go for a rocket NATO, and then that's going to hit all of that. <laughs> okay, um, I missed a bowler, but like, you know, I'm not scared at all. I'm definitely not scared at all of this push that is about to come up here in... Um yeah, this is... I'm scared, guys. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I am very scared. But, you know, I've done it before. Just going to go Ice Wiz in the back. Skellies to tank a few shots. We're definitely going to have to take some... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, That NATO actually kind of screwed me. I'm not going to lie. Those recruits are going to get a ton of damage on this left side here. But that's... You know, it's not the end of the world. Ice Wiz is going to help clean up this... In, um, Whatever that card is called. Electro Giant as well. The problem is I'm not in two rocket range just yet. Um, and he's going to go for another set of recruits. So this is where it kind of starts to get a little bit sketch. I'm going to go Tesla in the middle once again. Just keep playing defense as best as I can here. If I can defend this, I think I win the game. Um, so I'm just going to go Ice Wiz, Evo Skellies to the side, and then go for the Knight. Bomber, you need to leave. Exit this perimeter immediately. Okay, we're good. That could have been scary. He went for... Oh my goodness, he's just not going <laughs> to... I can't catch a break. He's just right back to another set of recruits. Um, only 40 seconds left, though. So, okay, this could be really bad. I'm going to go log on the Mother Witch because I need this card to die. Like, I'm just going to be honest. This card is screwing me right now. So, I'm just going to go Skellies to the side. I'm probably going to have to NATO everything in. Nope, Bowler, please relax. Please relax, Bowler. Oh my goodness, this is not okay. Okay, um, Tesla to defend the Bowler. We're fine. No, 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 please, please. Oh no, wait, did I lose? No, please, bro. If I lose, I'm actually gonna rage quit. No, we're fine. Oh my gosh, dude, the bomber almost ended my life. There's just no way, man. I literally had such a massive lead, and it came down to the last two seconds. That's how you know it's an absolute hard counter, but you know, I just beat a 100-0 matchup, so I feel pretty good about myself, and wow, that was just way too scary. Alright, this guy's got the Mortar in his clan name, so that's gonna be probably what he's playing. Um, he's gonna go for the Miner first play, we'll just Tesla since my cycle is pretty bad. He actually goes Wall Breakers, so that's gonna be a perfect defense, and once again, another Cannoneer. So, we're already up a decent bit. It looks like it's just gonna be traditional Miner Poison with the Little Prince. Um... So I'm just going to cycle in the back. He might not have a tank because I've been seeing a few people play. Oh my goodness, he doesn't have a tank, I don't think. He's going to go Little Prince here. I'm actually going to probably NATO this back right away. Yep, let's get this down before he pops the ability. Nice, that's good. Um, okay, that's the most glitchy interaction I've ever seen, but that's good. He doesn't have a knight in this matchup. This is actually so good for me. Uh, I'm going to go Skellies in the back, and he's probably going to go... What does he even do here? Maybe wall breakers? I have my log prepared. If he does go wall breakers, there they are. We're going to drop that down right now. Um, and that's going to be a connection on tower. So super, super good start. He does go for the log to finish off the expo. But look at that. That's a massive amount of damage to get, especially when we're playing against a player that has um, a really good double and triple elixir deck. So I'm just going to cycle the knight in the back. Kind of cooking today. I don't know. I'm, I'm on something. This knight should be... Um, 
like pretty good pressure since he doesn't have that much in cycle i'm just going to keep stacking teslas at the bridge in this matchup that's exactly what you have to do um if you're enjoying this video so far make sure you leave a like because you know i've been grinding pretty hard today this is high ladder as well like these are stressful games um so it takes a lot out of me but yeah if you enjoy i definitely like posting high ladder content um the most especially because like people always be out be doubting me and don't think i'm actually like good um so it's nice to get really high up oh he just lost that evil skelly evil skelly nice it touched the tower <laughs> what is happening bro i feel kind of bad but yeah make sure you leave a like if you're enjoying so far this video is far from over we are i mean dude he's just three crown he just gave up honestly you can't even blame him once i see one evil skelly touch my tower it's over okay we got a guy with the 04 in the end of his name i was actually born in 2004 so you know this is technically a pretty even even match right we're both um probably 19 years old i guess you could be 20 as well um so this is going to be an even match. He's going to go for the Mighty Miner in the back. Mighty Miner plus Bomber. I actually have no idea um, what that would be. And yeah, I don't know. Let's see. He's going to probably... No, he's got Fireball. What in the world is he playing? I, like, I genuinely have no clue. I think I'm just going to get the Larrys down. Um, I am going to cycle one Larry to the other lane just in case he does want to play. Okay, he's playing Miner Poison. Um, so that's fine. You know what? I'm not too mad about that. It's kind of the meta, honestly, guys. Like, it, it, I'm not even kidding. Probably 45% of games. Okay, he has Drill um, instead of Miner, but my point still stands. Probably about 40 to 45% of games right now are Miner Poison on top ladder, which kind of sucks, but it's just uh, how the meta is shaping out so far with all the cycle cards. So he's going to go Evo Bomber in the back. I'm actually going to try... I'm going to try this. Um... Let's see. Oh, I could have natoed that. Man, I probably should have natoed that, but I thought he'd be a little bit smarter with his cards. He is going to have the Fireball, so we can just kind of get the free King Tower activation at least uh, with this Bomber, and I'm bad at the game. I do let the Bomber connect. Wow, that was actually so bad for me. He doesn't have Guards in Cycle, though, so he might actually have a little bit of trouble defending this Evo Knight. Um, no Mighty Miner and no Guards. He could play... What does he even do here for this, honestly? I don't know. Um, okay, he's going to kite with the Wallbreakers. Knight is still going to survive that, believe it or not, because Evolution Knight is so balanced. Um, it's going to get to tower unless he plays something. Okay, he does Fire Spirit, so he does have to spend that extra elixir, but uh, we'll take it. Okay, I'm actually going to do something really aggressive and go Expo plus Tesla at the bridge because we're going to take pretty much the same amount of damage on that right side that we already have um, on the left side here. And then I'm going to go Evo Skellies. Hopefully this can catch him off guard and just take out his Mighty Miner um, and maybe get to tower. Oh, please don't do it to him. No! No! That was literally on tower, I swear. That was on tower, bro. I swear, that would have been game. No! That's so sad. Um, I swear, though. I don't know. He's gonna go for the drill. I'm just gonna cycle Ice Wiz. Oh, my lord. No, Ice Wiz, you're actually the worst card in the game. Why are you targeting the drill right there, bro? Oh, my gosh. That just sold me. Okay. Um, the reason I missed the NATO is because I thought the Ice Wiz was going to slow it. If I if the Ice Wiz would have slowed it, I wouldn't have missed the NATO. So I don't want to hear, no, you you made a bad NATO in the comments. Um, I'm just going to go, wow, 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 Um, wow. I mean, I'm, please? No! Oh, I should have predicted. No way, man. Oh, this feels so tough. Like, what, how? Okay, I can do this. I just got to lock in. No excuses. I can definitely still win this really bad. Like, he's not defending well either with this. Like, he's just really not playing well. Um, I should still win this. Honestly, he's just too aggressive with this place. He's going to spam wall breakers into me as well. Hold up. This is my chance for sure. Um, hear me out. I'm going to go expo outside of fireball range. I'm going to go actually at the river. And then ice was as soon as I can here on this left side. We're going to catch the bomber. Nice. Log's going to kill the... Oh my goodness. This is big. This is really big. Um, hold up. We're going to take out that mighty miner. He can fireball, but it's too late. NATO. Okay, we're on tower. It's not game, but... Okay, yeah. We need to defend these wall breakers um no 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 chill 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 oh my goodness okay tesla the bridge he's gonna bomber he's gonna bomber yep i knew it holy cow <laughs> sorry i'm literally like panic mode right now um okay i need two rockets and like one spell to win the game i'm actually gonna go rocket nato really early on since we know he doesn't have evolution bomber i'm pretty safe he can't do anything to me i'm just gonna log the skeleton or the goblins and we're chilling oh my goodness this was such a stressful game um i really like thought that he was playing pretty bad that one fireball like he just fireballed nothing basically or he fireballed a knight i think on top of the drill and that's really what sold him um he's gonna have one hp after this rocket which is kind of funny but i'm just gonna put him out of his misery and get this nato on tower and what a comeback victory it looked really sad there for a second but we pulled it out of the depths 
All right, Nicholas, let's see what you've got for me. I played this guy earlier, um, but I honestly can't really remember what he was running. My brain is uh, not functioning. We are getting pretty high up, though, like currently top 60-ish, 65 or something. Um, just going to cycle the NATO since he does go for the rage on my tower. Okay, he's got bowler. Very tempted to rocket that, but I think I'm just going to go Ice Wiz in the back and try and feel him out a little bit more um, with what he's running. So, okay. He's probably going to go tank in front of this or like, okay, get this down, please. Nice. Really good. And now since he did waste his fisherman, we can control the bridge with the Tesla here. This is actually pretty good. Looks like he's probably playing Royal Giant if he has the fisherman. Um, oh, wait, skelly drags are very interesting. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I don't know. This is a weird deck. So I'm just going to probably cycle Larry's in the back to, I don't know, just cycle because my cycle is really bad okay he does go for the rg i'm gonna get the ice was down once again here and then we should be all right that should dps no he does have the fireball okay this sucks um i have to go skellies on zero to take out this rg please no shots please dude please 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 die holy cow that was way too close uh oh, oh, oh. all right we're chilling though he is gonna have to waste his fisher to kill my knight so we're happy about that four elixir spent i am gonna have to log the fisherman but you know what we're gonna reset here i know what he's playing um and now this is a good situation to be in so yeah i also just wanted to say thank you for all the positive like comments and stuff um and twenty eight thousand, we hit twenty eight thousand subs like that's crazy i'm not just gonna skip over that um we're getting close to 30 30 would be insane um I want to, i'm hoping to get to 50 by the end of this year but that's a long 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 ways away um and you know those are just aspirations but yeah i just wanted to say thank you for the support everyone and the positive comments like especially ever i've heard i've seen so many people just like talking about how they watch my video every day and it just makes their day better and like honestly that makes me really happy and i know it's pretty cliche for like a youtuber to say but that's kind of why i do it um not that I mean, much because I, I love playing the game number one like this is my favorite game of all time um even though they make stupid things happen but you know I, i'm not it's still the best game ever created in my opinion it's just so much fun and there's so much like different things that can happen and it's a game that will never get boring because like of how much variety there is um so i do appreciate them for that but yeah i don't know i just have no, nothing negative to say right now it's just i'm just in a good mood i'm actually gonna go for rocket and then ice was on top of this rg um, pretty aggressive, but I do need to start getting some damage, and I think rocketing, like, switching sides with my rockets isn't the worst play in this matchup, since he doesn't really have, like, a really threatening push. Skeleton dragons are not, like, a massive problem for me to defense, and then, I mean, bowler's fine as long as I have defensive expo on the board. The bowler is kind of pointless for him. He is gonna go, wow, that's a very aggressive play by this guy. Um, Evo Knight should take out the fisherman, which is gonna be ideal here. He is gonna just fireball my ice was off the board once again. This Evo Knight's literally just getting trampolined across the entire map right now. Um, that's gonna get a shot on my tower. No, it's not. Okay, we're fine. Skellies and the bowler just wiped the skellies. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go log to just keep my Tesla alive. I need to keep the Tesla HP, um, like high. That's actually very important in this matchup, I feel like, because he does just gonna go rg if i don't have the uh whatever oh wow this guy is just psychotic honestly evo skelly is gonna give me some good value before he does get the rage spell down and then i think we're chilling even though he kind of played his entire bar to try and break through right there he does not end up breaking through so knight plus tesla should clean this up he's gonna spam the bridge with those skelly drags all right buddy um also, oh, I don't know why this just popped in my head right now in the middle of an intense match. This is how you know that I have a problem, um, but I'm just get, should I even talk about it? I don't know. I might talk about it in tomorrow's video or something, but all I'm going to say is, um, okay, hold up. I need to win this game. What am I doing? That's right. Don't hit my tower, please. Oh my goodness. No, no, I just lost. Oh, like pfft, this is why I can't be distracted, bro. I shouldn't have got distracted. Now I can't play defense perfectly and I, um sold the game so i am gonna have to just send it and go for a rocket plus nato on this bowler maybe we hit the oh <gasps> please no okay that's still fine i'm gonna go evo skellies please catch him off guard just for a second get that value okay i mean it, it did enough oh the skellies are still alive no way no way that just i think that just saved me here i'm not gonna cap that just might have saved me the entire game wait guys this is so good i'm gonna go wait knight on tower please no, he's choking. He's choking so badly. Hold up. He has to go RG. He played it way too late. Bowler's gonna die. Ice Wiz is not crossing the river. This, like, nothing else could possibly go right right now. Everything is going so good. I'm gonna go Knight uh, right away to DPS this down. He's obviously going to go Fireball on my tower. That's fine. We're just gonna log to kill the RG. Don't take out my Tesla, please. Thank you. Um, 12 seconds left. I just need to pull everything back and then go for Skellies. Get back to another NATO here. 
and yeah, we're chilling. I thought I might have just sold if I didn't get another Tesla down, but NATO's gonna be enough, and that's gonna be an amazing end to an amazing video. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like. This was crazy. I'm probably gonna make a part two um, for tomorrow, so if you want that, make sure you comment down below, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.